Hello and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. I'm Wicked from Honey Bunny Games and we are currently automatizing our factory. Okay, so let's start. Let's start and see how the sensors work. Currently everything is on manual until I configure everything. And come on, come on, come on. Start moving. Oh, <laughs> I'm such a derp. Um, I'm gonna connect this guy here for the moment. Um, actually, no, 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 I'm gonna actually, no, no, stop, 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 stop. I'm gonna stand here and wait for this guy to actually, well, do his thing. So when this guy flips, I'm gonna flip the switch. Uh, okay, you can start resetting. Come on, come on. That's gonna take a while. I hate those resets. Okay, move down and off we go. No, too early. You know what? I could slow everything down. That's one option. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's perfect. Um, I'm going to actually remove this guy and actually try it like this. So let's go. Please, please, no collisions. Please. I'm gonna have a switch ready to turn this guy off. Wait a bit. No, no. Come on, come on. Oh, maybe one cycle later. Maybe one cycle later. Uh, but anyway, let's let's place a switch. Come on, we activate this guy, okay, he's turning back, uh, that's fine, but I kind of have to think in advance, this guy will have to return before this guy retracts, so I'm also gonna need uh, this guy in this area, okay, so this will actually activate another uh, flip-flop. Oh boy, that kind of compl complicates stuff. Okay, so this guy will activate another flip flop. Uh, okay, so how was it? It was like two, three, probably three. No, it's two. Then this guy on three. You have a bearing. I'm gonna need three of these guys. I'm gonna need a sensor. Um. Okay, so basically, yeah, you're gonna be here. Nah, not, not you. Um, okay, you're gonna be... You're gonna be how much exactly? Minus 15, plus 15. Perfect. Minus 15, plus 15. Which is awesome. Then I'm gonna have this uh, buffer thing for the activation. And then I'm gonna have a second guy to actually leave it turned on. I'm gonna be on a second guy and this will be connected to this sensor. So you will do something like this. Right? Probably. Okay, basically I think this guy will deactivate Oh, shoots. No, you're not gonna deactivate the, the lift. You will deactivate the crane. And then I'm gonna have one uh, end gate. So when the crane is deactivated, 
in this position and when this is lit up this will deactivate itself so yeah I'm gonna actually separate that area a bit uh, yeah I'm gonna need this thing here and this will activate actually this switch oh boy that that's some heavy stuff here uh, but you know what I think we basically have this finished I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this this sensor at all because the box is here for quite a short time and I'm afraid it might not activate the reset button so uh, let's make an um, let's make another sensor for this guy where should we place it uh, where should we place it uh, we should place it right now here obviously Come on. Nope. Uh, what about when this guy starts turning? Okay, so at this point it will activate, which is perfect. Then this guy can start retracting. That is actually perfect. At least something is going my way. Um, okay, so this guy and this guy are going to reset this guy. Like I said, this and this, so we're gonna need an end gate. I'm gonna need two switches, one for each uh, input. So, uh, let's see, <clears throat> let's see, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna need a sensor, obviously. Cannot do so much of a logic without some sensors. And I'm going to need, not you, you. I'm going to place you on this guy. And place you on the second guy. So you are minus 30. No, plus 30? I think it was plus. Yep, plus. Okay, so when this guy goes minus 15, it's not activated, this guy has to go, you know what, I'm going to place, uh, place a safety. There we go. So let me make sure just test it out quickly, don't want any mistakes. Uh, so go, both of them have to go minus, right? Minus 15, minus 15. Okay, you go here, you go here. Yep, perfect. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. And obviously this is the output which will activate the, the, the lift reset. Oh boy, so let's see, this guy I'll activate first thing and this guy will activate the second thing I think we are pretty darn good to go uh, without the switches so you're pretty good to go without the switches is that so I think it is okay so you my little sensor you will activate you will not activate anything because the switch is still here. But you will activate this guy and this guy. Which means it is turned off. Which means it is perfect. Okay, so let's give it a go. Shall we? Okay. Play some banana box. Let's do be rotated this way. Okay. Activate the crane. Okay, a bit of a lag until he picks it up, then it's fine. There we go, it's fine. The whole thing is still in set position, so everything is moving. Okay, this guy will start moving soon. Oh, I forgot to... Yeah, I forgot to actually... Uh, actually connect this guy to which switch? 
I think it's this guy. Yeah, pretty sure it's this guy. Or is it? Did I connect it actually? No, I didn't. That's the reason it's not moving. What? Come on. Why don't you want to connect? What the hell? Why? Oh, I didn't disconnect this guy. I, I could swore I did. Uh, oh, except this guy didn't activate the... This thing. Yep. Okay. Oh, I think this might be a problem. Uh, this thing will not retract, actually. Oh, yeah, oopsie, I have a minor issue. Okay, banana, stop giving me lags. I have a minor issue. Okay, okay, uh, that's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be a problem. Um, <laughs> let me see. Okay, you... I, I, I messed up big, big time. This guy will be activated like all the time. And this guy will be deactivated all the time. So I'm gonna have another end gate. I'm just gonna delete these guys. Uh hopefully I'm doing the right thing. Okay. Yeah, you go back. You go back, friend. You go back. Uh this guy will have end gate. He'll be connected to this guy, and this will be connected to inverter. That's gonna work perfectly, I think. Okay, so... Uh, I said end gate, right? That's the same thing we have here, but first of all, I have to invert this guy. So, I'm gonna have the... The sensor, as always, uh, place it here, place this guy, so the testing kind of failed, but don't worry, it's not a big problem. At least we figured out what the problem was. Uh, I'm gonna place a safety, uh, place this guy, uh, and connect it to this thing. So when he connects, uh, this will go minus 30. And thus it will deactivate this guy. But first of all, uh, this is currently giving me the output of 1. And this one is 1. So as soon as this guy deactivates, this thing will start retracting. I'm needing... I need a end gate. So I'm gonna place this thing. Place this guy. Uh, am I doing this right? Yes, I am. Place the two inputs. Place the sensor. Place the safety. And start placing these guys. Okay, you're attached to this guy. You're attached to this guy. Uh, this will go minus 30, once activated plus 15, and plus 15, right? Right. And let's see, this guy, and this guy. But currently it's it's out uh, zero, so I actually actually require like NAND. So I'm gonna have to invert this again. Wow, can I do actually this better? Can I? Uh, okay, inverted. Let me let me quickly uh, click A, inverted and B. Actually, I need a table. So zero zero one one one. one. 
Uh, once this guy, okay, I'm gonna call this exit. Once this guy is activated, and this, yeah, I actually need a simple end gate, but wait, what? Uh, okay, I'm dropping around. What, 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 what? No, yeah, actually, that has to be zero, so yeah. Yeah, that has to be zero. Okay, so this thing. Oh my god, I, I have a mind block. My god. So many connections, it's confusing me. Um, okay, this guy will move in as soon as this guy is activated, right? And this guy is deactivated. So I have this thing deactivated and activated. Wait a minute. Oh, that's a problem. There's the problem. But why it's not... Oh, I have to invert this guy as well. Yeah, he's going with the zero now. Okay, so one more inverter. I'm gonna place it here. Since I'm already using this space. Yeah, derp. Okay, gonna use another controller. Place a sensor. I think I had it like a second ago. Oh, there we go. Um, place this guy. And basically, when you get an input, you'll go plus 30. Right? Right. Okay, so no, you're not gonna be here. You will be here. Actually, no, I messed that up, didn't I? You'll go plus 30 by default and minus 50... And minus 30... No. You'll go plus 30 by default. And minus 30 once this thing is activated. Now, wait. Wait, what? No. Currently, it's 0. So this guy has to give me 1. That was perfect. Once this guy is 1, this has to give me 0. If I'm inverting both of the things, I should have just actually connected them to the end gate and invert the... Oh well, never mind. It's don't want to mess everything up now. Yeah, I could definitely use this with just one end and one not gate. Ah, I'm so stupid. No, actually, no, I couldn't. I could? Uh, yeah, I could actually. Uh, okay, so when both of them are zero, go and activate. Yeah. Yeah, actually, no. As soon as one would activate... Yeah, yeah, never mind. I'm gonna go with this thing. Um... I don't want to draw the tables now, and I cannot think clearly. Uh, so, let me see, let me see. You know what? I think I should have ended the episode like a long time ago, so actually I'm gonna end this episode now and continue fiddling around with this in the next episode. But right now, this will be it, so thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, and see you next time.